Well, uh, Charles Darwin was actually not an antagonist of Lamarck, and Darwin's grandfather was a Lamarckian, and uh, Darwin got his basic ideas from his grandfather, who was really a Lamarckian, and in uh, the introduction to one of the editions of, of uh, The Descent of Man, uh, he made several points that he was not uh, saying that uh, it's just a, a matter of the inheritance of uh, randomly mutated genes. He, he pointed out several other mechanisms of inheritance, but uh, the anti-Darwinians uh, were actually anti-evolutionists uh, who didn't uh, like the idea that organisms could have a purpose or could be intelligent and uh, respond reasonably to the environment in a way that could be passed on to their offspring. Uh, so it, the anti-Lamarckism was really associated with anti-true Darwinism and uh, was a creation of, of late 19th century uh, anti-evolutionists uh, who, who became the, the, the basis for the neo-Darwinist movement, which is what suppressed this idea of a purposeful developmental field as as being what is in charge of uh, both expressing and organizing uh, the genes. Okay, so all of this, all of this enunciation of Lamarck, uh, I'm 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 really thinking about this from uh, having read Arthur Kessler's book, The Case of the Midwife Code, and. So, so all this suppression of Lamarck's work and his ideas is, are you, you're saying, is really dogmatic rather than real. Uh, dogmatic and uh, even to the point of being irrational and unscientific. Um, it, it just makes no sense in things like Mendelian inheritance in man. It, it's just uh, like a, a, a cultish doctrine that, that doesn't have any basis anywhere.